Welcome to Mastering Kind Master Tutorials in English. Today's lesson is a basic editing and timeline tutorial. We're going to show you how to navigate your media in the most efficient way, arrange your clips in a good way in your timeline, and then trim and edit them to a specific length that you want to for your film. Let's get into this by creating a new project with an aspect ratio of 16 by 9. We're going to start by adding some media, so we'll press this button here that says Media to open the media browser. This brings up a screen that has all of the folders that have media on your phone. It'll be different for you, but we're going to choose this one that has DJI Record to pull the videos we're going to make from this screen. It opens up that folder to view all the content that's in there. You're really going to want to pay attention because I'm going to give you a big time saver that I didn't learn until a long time of using KindMaster. So you'll notice I'm looking at video thumbnails, but it doesn't look like there's an obvious way to preview them. And if you look at thumbnail number two and three there, they're almost identical. How am I supposed to know what the content of the clip is? If you don't know this preview trick and you press the video clip, it gets placed into your timeline and then you scroll through to see what it actually is. And if it's not the one that you want, you have to navigate back through the folder structure, try again, pick the second one. I'm going to show you how easy it is not to do this. Press and hold any clip and it'll bring up this preview window. The preview window lets you scroll between different clips that are in that folder. You can make them favorites or you can add. If you close the window, it'll go right back to the folder that you were looking at and you can preview again, but you click the arrows at the end and you preview. It's great that there's a play button inside of the preview window so you can actually play it. Unfortunately, there isn't a scrubber, but aside from that, it works excellent to be able to see what you want to get into your video. I'm going to quickly add our three clips in here. We're not going to preview them right now because I already showed you how that works. We're just taking three in a row, and you can see I'm flipping through them, and I'm hitting the add button to add them to the timeline. You may have noticed that the red playhead stays the center there as I added the three clips. Each of them kind of moved to the side over to the left, but they did get added one after the other. If you notice, the playhead tells what time it is in the movie. It's 47 seconds. Our goal is to make this entire clip only 30 seconds long by editing the three clips. In order to do this, we need to scrub or scroll our content across the playhead. You can see as I move with my thumb, what I'm doing right now, even though you can't actually see my fingers, is I have my thumb on the bottom part of the screen, and I'm just moving the movie back and forth so I can get to the point where I want to be. The playhead is the spot where the edits will take place, and by scrubbing back and forth, you move your playhead to the place where you want to make some changes. In addition to being scrolled along, the timeline can also be pinched or spread in order to change what you actually view. It doesn't change the length of the overall content. It changes what you're seeing in your preview window. It doesn't matter how wide or tight that we've spread this. The, the, what we have on the screen is 47 seconds long. However, there are times when you want to make micro adjustments and there are times when you want to make macro adjustments. We start at this macro level by dragging, holding, and dropping a clip to reorganize all three clips. This doesn't change the overall length of the movie. You just press down on a clip, you drag it to a new position on the other side of another clip, and drop it, and they reorganize themselves. We haven't cut or changed anything aside from the order in which the clips will show up. Next, we're going to work on making each clip only 10 seconds long. Tap on a clip and it becomes yellow. On the right-hand side, a new menu shows up with many things in there. The only one we're going to work on right now has the little scissors on it. When you click on it, another menu opens up. There's four options in this menu, but we're only going to talk about the first three. Trim to the right, trim to the left, and split at the playhead. We're going to start with trimming, which is the same as deleting a portion of the selected content that you have. Remember, when you trim, you're going to shorten the length of both the movie and the individual item that you've selected. I'm going to quickly hit trim to the left of the playhead, and you can see that everything to the left-hand side of the playhead in the yellow selected clip disappeared. You also might notice that the playhead timer changed to basically zero, in this case because this was the first clip, so everything got pushed back to the start of the movie. I just hit the undo button because that didn't achieve the goal that we were looking for. What we really want to do is we want to shorten this clip to 10 seconds. So in order to do that, we need to move our playhead so the playhead is at 10 seconds. When you want to make an edit at an exact time, you might want to zoom in on your timeline so you get more precision. I'm doing that right now to find the spot that's exactly 10 seconds and then I'm trimming to the right. 
I'm going to speed it up a little now to do the same thing with the other two clips. Scrub the playhead to the pace we're looking for, 20 seconds here, trim to the right of the playhead, get to the next clip, scroll to 30 seconds, trim to the right of the playhead, and now we have our desired result, a film that's 30 seconds long exactly, made by editing three clips to 10 seconds each. I hope you learned something from the basic tutorial about arranging your time frame, picking media from the library, trimming, making things to certain lengths, scrolling with the playhead, and other stuff. If you like the content, please subscribe to the channel. There's going to be content of all sorts of level related to KindMaster, so please come back and check out what we have going on, and get out there and get creating with KindMaster. Thanks for stopping by.